peace for now. Chief Georges, that will the trust's yours to keep in the time. That's so. Yarl can't stand up the thought of his old tribe getting ripped to sweat scanning. Poor fellow. Living in fear under the grave yeah, would kill his driven. boot. Hey, go on then, frog skin. We'll see you all in your minute. What do you think you're doing? These toxins cannot be denied. What do you think you're doing to that rat? We need those vermin to find our hidden villagers. Try it again. We'll have none of that, you hear? These rats seem important to the Immaculates. If we're going to exterminate them, we've got to find a better way to do it. Gazing at the holes of souls, or am I wrong altogether?
Groot making me do his dirty work, I bet his skull would make a lovely goblet for Jarl's mead. Bloody key. What? Oh, <laughs> I say you're so stupid, yeah. keys from the cold in your pocket, buddy. Comrade, did you hear that? It sounds like these Immaculates are at odds with the local Orc savages. We may be able to turn this to our advantage. I'll keep a sharp eye out for anything we could use to nudge these factions closer to chaos. If we can get them to destroy each other, we'll kill two birds without even having to pick up a stone. Nothing would please me more than seeing Hunter's Edge cleared of the scum that destroyed it. I may not be able to undo the past, but together, we can dole out justice for those who've suffered. On the mend! Bless the seven, I am restored! Anything of yours with a ten and four. So it is yours that the king of this injustice you brought to the city of Your mother won't believe me. I will be easy to stop this. Or am I right? Back on my feet again! I say you're so stupid. There are countless rats inside this hole, waiting to be lured out at the slightest temptation. I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. It's all mother, I'm saying. The humans the one talking. So many of these skulls are so delectably modeled. I can hardly tell which one of them would suit me better. It's all mother, I'll say. The humans the one would talk. Am I gazing at the whole souls? Big or ugly brute I making me do his dirty work. I bet his skull would make a lovely goblet for Jarl's mead. It's all mother, I'll say. Hey, what do you think that. you're doing? 
Mother won't like to hear a human's been thieving from an orc. You know damn well I wouldn't touch anything of yours with a ten-hand pole. So it was chance that the key went missing just as you were waltzing through here. Your mother won't believe it for a moment. Yes, your mother, I'll say. The human's the one talking. <laughs> Nothing! Or am I wrong, altogether? What do you think you're doing? to the skin. Am I gazing at the holders of souls? Or am I wrong altogether? What a deluge. Hello again. Do you bring good news? They've survived this carnage so far by concealing themselves most cleverly. I've done my best to guard their hiding place from the slime-bellied rats attempting to sniff them out. But I fear my efforts aren't enough. Until the village has been rid of vermin, those three sweet souls may be found at any time. Savages by spit you're not they must be Am I gazing at the holders of souls or am I wrong altogether? I could do with a cold drink. Yeah, why not? Hey, Fifteen gold. Balls around. Crack on here. Why don't ya? Let's see it all start. Read them and read them. It never rains, but it pours, eh? Fucky, sweaty swing. You beat me. You. Nice undercards, that one. Come, let's have another round before I get too drunk to read the cards. Hey, you. Stranger, how are you? You look like you could use a leg up against the competition. Isn't that so? Yeah, what are you doing with lingering around here anyway, human? Brutilda doesn't tell you a thing, does she? We're waiting to find the final battle. The time is nearly now. Five gold. Good cards. Three shiny. Come back to me. Did someone leave an oven door Look, open? I know a lovely sight up there, all in a row. Strike about myself, I did. Hey. You there, tell me, how's your vision? Any ailments in the liver or spleen? Toasty. I'll call and raise you another five. In the market for some premium gear, are ya? Such useful relics. Share in the plunder. Let's see that last bloody card. 
I'm fine. I'll check what is it that you so enjoy about death? Well, Toasty! Order of the old mother. Huge discounts on magic balls. I will have the piece I need from serving the goddess. Unless the piece, I say. Let the lost die that we may live. What do you call it? Oh, get before they turn to ash. Well, well, well. What, what, what? Do you pretend not to know me, child? The old mother called me here to find a certain tiny herd of sheep missing from her flock. Ah, the wolfish shepherd woman, she. Rats, kitten. Rats are always lost lambs. Yes, the old mother believed something must have startled them. Was it you? Right, ah! Uh, what did you tell them? I swear! I can explain! Our mother, yes. And we do suckle from the teat of her goodwill. No wonder so many of us starve. <gasps> an iron feast in an iron glove is our Gratilda. She doesn't tolerate failure any more than I tolerate a spring nymph stealing glimpses of me during bath time. No, no! What? Do I look like his secretary? And even if I were, with my hair in a tight little bun and my quail at the ready, the old mother doesn't share her every concern with me, you know. No, no, she whispers to her. Even vermin leave behind a worthy scrap or two. What I've spotted something so interesting about death. Well, something's like death, but I can be on the bottom. Even vermin leave behind a worthy scrap or two. I'm looking for the peace I need from serving the goddess. A life of peace, I say. Let the lost die that we may live. Gratilda doesn't tell you a thing, does she? We're waiting to fight the final battle. We'll have none of that, you hear? Even the old mother can pass this team in a second cloud after one of them. There's no evading my blade. What do you think you're doing? May your blood run black. Hey, stop that! We'll have none of that, you hear? Even vermin leave behind a worthy scrap or two. Let the lost die that we may live. We're waiting to fight the final battle. The time is nearly nigh. The final battle is guaranteed. I'm warm as fresh apple pie. You may think. But my kingdom for a dry shirt. Then shut your mouth and go get some wine. Stop it all the way to my boots. Now there's an idea with a ring to it. I found something. Right back. I'm back to me. I'm gonna call you. This is taking bloody ages. I need a drink and a breather.
baking like a cake. I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. Oh, cheers. What's this? Oh, I wish there were other bottles. I found something. I told you it was a mistake to kill all women alongside the men. What a stupid thing. Oh, I'm tripping. If I find the old tub of lard that did this, I'm feeding him his own nethers. The sheep? Ah, I'm up for Tilda. And I do her too, if I wasn't so sure she'd bang me head off after we're still. Oh, I'm tripping. What's this? I found something. this? I found something. I've spotted something. I've spotted something interesting. What does not know? Get you away. Shut your mouth and go get some like wine with a garden in here. Now there's an idea with a ring to this it. This is it, you oh, bunch of pansies. The cards are shuffled. Now, place your bets. Five gold. Good cards. Three shiny. So many of these skulls are so My kingdom for a dry shirt! I can hardly Hello tell. again. Do you bring good news? Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There may be hope for my friends yet. If you would. You could find them and help them escape now that those pointy-faced beasts won't be on the alert. Their hiding place is enchanted, you see. Crafted by the wizard himself to hide those he held dear. They've concealed themselves in a cellar outside their home, the hatch of which you'll find beneath a great black boulder. Once you've destroyed the boulder, search in the beehives behind the wizard's house for the key. These skulls bereft of the lips with which they kissed. So many of these skulls are so delectably modeled. I can hardly tell which one of them is you. I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. Am I gazing at the whole of I'm overheating oh, here. Heck. Seven's my lucky number. Who knew so vermin could harbor such useful relics? I, I need to dry off. I told you it, was a it never rains, but it pours, eh? Many 
next. Why don't you go yourself, then? You already sent Odelin, and he's been put out to bits. You dare to challenge your commander, were Billy? Feeding him his own nethers. I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. This boulder looks strange, unreal even. of the wizard. Take me! A source hunter? Lodian, the gods have answered our prayers. I can think of no more welcome deliverer from this predicament than one of your esteemed order. Seven bless us, and you too. We three laboured under Zandalore's employ. He was right decent to us, and it's thanks to him we managed to escape the brutes upstairs. Zandalore prepared this hidden place long ago. It's almost as though he knew, somehow, that this day would come. Or perhaps he knew only that the forces of evil would always pursue those of goodness and light. ago he told us that if ever we found ourselves in danger we should flee to this cellar shut fast its door he said and mark the jam with a chalk pentangle this will call forth the magic i have assigned for your protection it seems our friend was true to his word zandalore is a brilliant man even among wizards why he chose to settle in this sleepy little town i can't say but then again he never did remain for long Always dashing off to attend to some matter or other, our wizard. We cared for his home while he was away, and attended to him when he was in. We were quite fond of him, and I do believe he was rather fond of us too. It seems that when we triggered this cellar's defences, he knew straight away. Within a minute or so, a strange orb of light appeared before us. It grew sharper and sharper about the edges. I held out my hands to grasp it, and it fell heavy as a pearl, in my hands. From the orb came Zandalore's voice, clear and strong as though he were standing just before me. His voice was hurried, strained in a way I'd never heard before. Something unthinkable, that he was travelling through the Phantom Forest, that heart of horrors, and into the ancient source temple that rests within its cursed depths. He told us to wait for the White Witch, 
asked us to deliver a message, something important by the sound of it. We wrote it down, word for word, and will pass it along whenever it is she comes. That ring! Hikara's blessing! Sandalore has the same. I'd recognise it anywhere. So the White Witch sent you, did she? I should have known she'd not sit idly by while the world turned topsy-turvy. Sandalore's message is as such. He's gone to the Source Temple in the Phantom Forest, and he wants her, or, or I suppose you, her messengers, to follow him there. In order to enter the forest, you'll need an amulet. He stored it in a small chest near his personal waypoint. Once you're inside the forest, you'll need to find the forest spirit. This spirit will give you the rune you need to enter the Source Temple. But first things first. If you want to get inside Zandalore's house, you'll need to use the portal in this very room. I've the crystal you need in order to activate it. Still, entering the house will be the least of your worries. Zandalore himself has called forth every manner of protection to discourage would-be intruders, and you will have to defeat them all in order to reach the bedroom. Now, the last thing he said doesn't make much sense to an outsider. Perhaps you or the witch will manage to make better sense of it. He said, and I quote, She is coming. I only hope I can reach the temple first. If she finds the portal... <sighs> he didn't finish after that. Before you go, perhaps we might impose on you... Well, a favour, you see. Source Hunter, we need a way out of this place. It's only a matter of time before the savages upstairs find us. And trying to leave through the village is as good as suicide. But Zandalore has his own means of travel. A waypoint shrine in his own chambers are reserved for his personal use. If we could only get there, we'd be able to flee this place lickety-split. The only trouble is what I've already mentioned. The wizard's house is rigged from top to bottom. If you'll be disabling its defences, we'll slip through without problem. Good luck, Source Hunter. And unimaginable thanks from me and mine.